All right. So this is Net 113, IT Central's hardware. Day 17, believe it or not. 1025. 16. All right. We talked about the midterm. Uh, we did that work on the paper about the motherboard. The students reworked part of that. They looked up the manual and looked up uh, what those different ports and identifying items on the motherboard. Talked about looking at your exam and you can look up the answers in the uh, solutions to that uh, inventory sheet. If you opened up the inventory in the midterm there's a solutions and you can check the questions in the exam, do a search form in that solutions and the answers are in there. Open source, the students are supposed to do a peer review of that. So everybody has three peer reviews. They're anonymous, but you can go in and look at the part of the test where you were suggesting a computer system for me. All right. We did a review of Chapter 5. Then I mentioned the students could do their own review. And then we took the test. This password has been since changed. So we took the test, Chapter 5 lab, students are working on that. And then we opened the machines and we looked at the processor. On Thursday we're going to put some new uh, thermal compound in there. <clears throat> we'll clean them up, put the thermal compound in, put them back together, and make sure they still function. We talked about this deal um, with the internet outage. A botnet developed a denial of um, a distributed denial of services and the attack DNS servers. And we talked about all the ways they could create that botnet with the Internet of Everything, or I should say Internet of Everything and Internet of Things. All of the devices that now connect to the Internet. If you're interested on information, Tim Wu, not sure how to pronounce that, but he has a couple good books. You know, The Big Switch is one I've read, and he's got a new one out, and he's like a internet lawyer. <clears throat> really good information. We watched a movie, and not a movie, a video. Danny Hillis, it was a TED Talk. It was really interesting, but he talked about the old internet, trust, and how important that was. He got the third domain name, think.com. We talked about how the internet's changed. It was the ARPANET. As soon as we started using the dot-coms, that became, you know, the internet became a much more, I guess, dangerous place to, to be involved with. But anyway, this was good timing because Danny said we are going to have some issues in the future with the Internet. Even though this was 2011, some of what he talked about came true this past week. We have to understand the Internet. You can add things to the Internet. It's changing all the time and we don't know who's using the Internet to do their communications. So issues with the internet can have a larger impact than we even know. Alright, so the rest of this was chapter 5. We talked about technology, power, power running technology. We make technology smaller and smaller and smaller so we get more power out of those chips. We want to do that so they don't heat we want to use the least power we can, but we still have an issue of cooling. So we talked about damage, unstable, all the things go wrong when they overheat. And we talked about ways to cool fans, heat sinks, coolers, using liquid to cool. And there are some non-fan coolers for processors too. Talked a little bit about the power supply, wattage, 
calculating that video card takes a lot of power. Talk about interviewing people. We did a lot of work with that the other day. And uh, anyway, if you're going to work on a computer, the first thing you want to make sure is back up the data. And then anytime you work on computers, you have to talk about the cost. Is the data, is there value in that data that needs to be retrieved if you have an issue with the data? And then if you're going to work on a computer, is is this, you know, you got to figure out, are you going to spend too much money to where, I think I wrote over here, you can just get new. I didn't spend much time on this. The process. How you going to do research and what order you're going to check what to figure out what's wrong. Listening to beeps. Once you resolve a problem, is there a way you could prevent it from happening again? Talk a little bit about electrical systems. You know, are your problems before or after boot, consistent or intermediate? This is always much tougher. Is the system just dead? Does it lock up? You got that burning smell? That would tell you something's wrong for sure. <laughs> Overheating could be caused by overclocking, dust, so forth. We talked about smaller devices like laptops and phones. You know, what kind of adapters could be causing problems with those. Power issue. Okay, move on. Well, that's really it of what we did. <clears throat> I went over initially some of the things we talked about.